Anyways, we'll shadow here. In this video, we are going to create uh, exe uh, bypass. Okay, we are going to make a uh, exe in the C sharp. So we can implement the offsets that we uh, extracted in the previous video. We will use those offset in the exe bypass, and then we will implement those offsets inside the game. And our emulator will be bypassed, and we will also fix other bands. Uh, we will find some other offsets, and we will find some other R functions as well. Uh, for now in this video we are uh, just uh, uh, I will teach you how you can create a EXZ okay uh, a bypass a UI okay for that purpose you will need to install Visual Studio uh, you already have installed so if you do not know how to install it I will give a video link in the description of this video you can go there and watch and you can install Visual Studio how to install that I have uh, uh, everything I have told in that video so you have to open your visual studio after installation okay after opening it you have to create a new project here uh, you have to create uh, a windows forms app.net framework okay you have to double click on this one if you do not uh, find uh, in your PC it easily, you can uh, select here C sharp. Here you can select Windows, and here you can select the desktop. Then you will uh, you can easily find it. Okay, I will double click on it, and uh, here you have to uh, type the name of your bypass. Okay, I will uh, for example I will type here COD bypass. Okay, and then click on the create. The project will be created. Project, you will get this interface. Here, uh, actually, my laptop is a little bit slow, that's why it is taking some time. And Visual Studio also is uh, heavy and uh, it takes a lot of memory here this is the ui okay here first of all you uh, you can uh, create any kind of ui according to your taste and uh, which you like but uh, i'll just uh, uh, tell you a little hint you can change everything here okay in the properties for example if i edit it i will change it to this thing and four color will be the i will change the four color white and then i will change the back color to black sorry black okay here uh, this is the toolbox if you uh, do not have toolbox here you can go to view and here you can click on the toolbox and you will get it here okay here uh, from here you have to drag the things here for example i want to drag a button okay this is the button one okay this is for start emulator this is for start game and this is for safe exit or exit exiting the emulator now we have to write the name of the our bypass above for that we will uh, we need to add a label okay label we need to add uh, that the font of the uh, label we can change from here like this okay and uh, here from here we can type its name cod bypass i am creating a simple ui you can uh, make it very attractive later because that will take a little time so the actually the codes inside these buttons and the bypass that matters okay the design do, do, does not matter the security of the bypass matters okay so here is the button one uh, first of all i will change its uh, color and everything uh, back color is black i will change it to transparent okay and uh, then it okay from here we have to uh, change it to pop up and then you can change its uh, four color like its text color i will change it to red one and i will change its font also like bold and 10 okay from here we can change its text 
start emulator I have just uh, copied it copied this one by control C and then I have pasted with the control V okay hell uh, start game and uh, exit everything okay or you can type anything here safe aggregate uh, aggregate everything close everything or these kind of things uh, then we will need um, one more label here to show the status okay like this what is happening inside the bypass and then we need uh, one more label here to create a close game button like X I will show you how this one I'm talking about okay you can change its font uh, to make it uh, more visible like this okay like this okay and now we have to put the codes inside this to close our bypass double click on it here you have to type application dot exit like this okay now when you will click on this your by uh, bypass will be closed okay so we will add uh, the codes in start emulator start game and safe exit in the next video because uh, already videos are getting too large so uh, too long so that's why i'm i am closing this video here we will uh, add uh, a lot of codes in the exe bypass and then we will add the offsets in the exe bypass okay in the next video upcoming videos you can change this designs according to your taste okay here we need to add some checkboxes checkbox like this okay this is for example uh, we have different versions of game for example if we have different versions of game then we can uh, like this one for global yellow B global one okay and uh, this one for arena Where is it? Text. Okay, and in this way you can create text uh, checkboxes like this. If I will click on global and start game, the glo uh, COD global will be started and it will be bypassed. And if I have checked the arena, uh, the uh, Call of Duty arena will be started and it will be bypassed. But uh, we will need to add some other codes also in our bypass that we will add later in the upcoming videos uh, slowly slowly okay